Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. I noticed that the Raspberry Pi 4, it can get quite warm. So I already bought a Flurk passive cooling case. It's for the Pi 4. And when you take it out of the packaging, It has a plastic bottom and there is one heat, well at least um, this one should go on top of your CPU and that makes this whole thing a heat sink for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now the CPU is not the only chip that can get quite warm, so you have the memory chip right next to it and the USB controller that can get quite hot too. So what I'm going to test is applying some heat sinks on top of the memory chip and the USB controller and this is quite a distance and these heat sinks are quite small so that should still fit quite nicely in the case. What I'm going to test first is if the heat sinks get warm because I read on a forum that when you have like very bad thermal tape then it actually works as an insulator instead of transferring the heat to the heat sink. So this is some tape and you have to get that blue stuff from the tape, at least if it wants to cooperate. And then just apply it gently on the chip so here's one and I'll just go for the second one goes and we apply this one on the memory chip unfortunately this one is a bit bigger and I noticed that because of some I guess sort of capacitors next to the chip then it's gonna be a challenge to fit it properly so that's why I use the smaller one. I will do some testing and see if the heat sinks get warm because if they don't then I'll take them off before I put the Raspberry Pi in the Fleur case. So that's all for today. I'm going to do some testing and in my next video where I will put the Raspberry Pi 4 in the Fleur case I will also report if the heat sinks work properly or not. That's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.